listen, man, this is something that I, I wanted to say once, you know, I was on the metaverse after Gilly's son died. Um, and you know how black people are. It's a sacrifice. It's Gilly's fault. Oh, you got all this money. Why is your son in the hood? And, you know, Hassan Campbell, it's, it's crazy because I was going to make a video and then I got on YouTube and I see Hassan Campbell championing that theory. And he got it wrong about, you know, holding Gilly responsible for his son's death, right? His son is not two years old, y'all. His son is not two years old. You understand what I'm saying? Look, do you guys really, really think rich people's kids are not in the hood? And you got somebody like Gilly, right? Got the bag, got money, been doing well for himself for a while. But Gilly's still from the hood, right? And when you're from the hood, that means your aunties, your cousins, your aunties, kids, nephews, they probably still in the hood. You the one that made it out, right? So people got to understand, you make it out, your kids still want to hang out with their family members. And their family members is still going to be in the streets. And it takes, it's like, I don't even know what it takes for your kid to have the strength to not be peer pressured to try to act like, you know, the cousins of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, your kid don't want to be called a nerd or a dork. They're like, yeah, my daddy got money, but I can still fit in with y'all, right? The father and the mother is going to do what they can. If you think Gilly never has conversations with his sons like, yo, don't be out there in the streets. Don't be out there doing this, da 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 even, I don't know where Gilly lives, but if Gilly is living in Philly, he's probably living in the best part of Philly. But the kid is old enough to make his own decisions. You think you can really, what's, so what's Gilly going to do? Put a, tie a rope around the kid and put him in a closet? You know what I'm saying? Gilly got to go to work. He got to go make the bag. When that kid leaves the house, I don't know if they were living together, but when, when he's on his own, you can't dictate. What, what kids are going to do, yo? You know what I'm saying? Like, all you can do is really pray. Like, we all going to act like when we left our mama's cribs, we didn't go out there and do what we wanted to do. You know? And my mom, like, when we was in the projects, my mom was not encouraging me to go hang out with street niggas. She was not doing that. She was telling me, yo, go to college. Go to college. Go to college. And even though... I did listen to my mom and I did go to college. I was still hanging around with street niggas. And the niggas that I was hanging around with, none of them went to college. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I did listen to my mom. But while I was out there doing what I wanted to do and being a bad kid, anything could have fucking happened. And somebody would have blamed my mom and my dad, but it would have not been their fault. And I'm using that as an example. I'm pretty sure Gilly was not telling his son, Go be out there in the streets. I'm pretty sure he was telling them, yo, watch your back. Don't be out there in the streets. This this is what and what, what and what and what could happen. But the kid has his own choice to make, his own decisions to make. You know what I'm saying? So just because Gilly got, got the bread, got the bag, you can't force your kid to be, you know, like, move him here. What if Gilly said, yo, let me move you to Arizona? And he said he don't want to go. What What is Gilly going to do? Gilly can have multiple conversations with the kid. If the kid's like, yo, I want to just do what I want to do, what's Gilly going to do? So it's like, you can't blame you can't blame Gilly, right? Yes, I do think there has to be a conversation had. Like, you know, if you coming up with money and you black, right? You don't have to act hood or act street. You don't have to emulate that because the niggas that's coming from the streets is trying to get out. So when you get out, you don't, you should not be the one trying to get in when you out. You know what I mean? So we can have that conversation, right? Um, and also even a further conversation about ending gang culture and all of that, right? But 
at the same time, we promote violence and we promote destruction. So why are we surprised that there is a peer pressure for people who don't even come from that to want to emulate that? Because that is what, um, um, that's what shows manhood. A lot of niggas is like manhood is on toughness, violence, being bad, selling drugs, doing illegal things, even when you don't have to, is just what the culture promotes. So people feel like they have to, you know what I'm saying, go out there and be bad because that's what makes you a man. You know what I'm saying? And if that's not the case, right? So this is an opportunity to have those conversations. But blaming Gilly, that is the that's the easiest thing to do. Cause that don't bring about no no progression. That is more destruction. You know what I mean? Blaming Gilly. Like Gilly didn't send his kid over there and put a gun to somebody here and kill his kid. And then the whole thing about our uh, sacrifice, that's weak, man. That 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 is the weakest shit. So every celebrity who has had somebody die, they say it's a sacrifice. A family member die, a friend dies, it's a sacrifice. Yo, this is how much y'all idolize celebrities. Y'all really put them above. Y'all look at them as God. That they just not supposed to lose anybody. Everybody's losing people every day. People are losing kids, friends, grandparents every single day. That is not a sacrifice. But when somebody <laughs> who's a celebrity lose somebody, that is a sacrifice. Like, what sense does it make? With the fact that y'all have labeled every celebrity that's lost somebody as they sacrificed them, essentially, you're saying celebrities are not supposed to lose people. That's basically what people are saying. Celebrities is not supposed to lose anybody. They're supposed to be, everybody around them is supposed to be immortal just because they're famous. That's dumb. That's dumb. The only thing that's guaranteed after birth is death. People are going to die. That's the one thing that's going to happen to all of us. So when it happens, how do y'all assume it's always a sacrifice when it's a celebrity? That don't make no sense. But, you know, uh, this is this is a sad story. Um, people are going to have all different kinds of emotions. Um, it is going to be content and the metaverse is going to speak on it. Um, you know, I'm hurt for Gilly because I know Gilly based on everything he's delivered publicly i think he's worked hard to put his kids in a position and i think gilly wants the best for his kids and i don't think this is what he imagined he imagined at all so this is very sad that it's happened um and i hope in this moment we can find a better conversation to have other than blaming gilly and that's what i'll say man